Today's reading of Charlie's Letters, I'm going to be reading letter 14. Uh, the title is Four Stages of Love. 1 John 4, 17. By this, love is perfected with us, so that we may have confidence in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so also are we in this world. I remember reading John Claypool's book, The Light Within, where he shared how his teacher in seminary told them about the four stages of love that most of us go through in our walk with Christ. The first is the love of self for self's sake. We are like little children. We live like everything revolves around us. He mentions that for the most part, we don't stay there long as we begin to progress into stage number two. Stage number two, the love of God for self's sake. When we find God and our lives become the love of God for self's sake, we treat God like he is our bellhop in the sky. Give me this. Help me here. Help me there. Claypool shares that many of us never get beyond this stage. But those that go on to stage number three, this is where both he and I thought should be the top stage. Stage number three, the love of God for God's sake. That is where we look to God and worship him and love him. But he shared number four, which I really had to ponder to catch the wisdom in it. Number four, the love of self for God's sake. He gave several examples. One was from the book of John, where John identifies himself as he writes, and he calls himself the disciple whom Jesus loved. The author and I have always thought that John had too high of an opinion of himself. But in reality, John had it right. Jesus loves him just as he is, just where he is, just who he is. God made him and God loves him. And if we're ever going to trust God and let him have his way in me, I must love myself. Many times in the Bible when God tells me how to love one another, how to love my neighbor, how to love my wife, etc., it is always that we love them as we love ourselves. I must see God in me and let his love flow through me. The verse of the bottom of this letter is Matthew 5, 16. Let them see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Matthew 5, 17. And that's the reading for today. Have an awesome day, everybody.